Yeah, so my past experiences have been pretty uh, pretty tough. Oh, uh, so Midoriya. Well, you see, Sato, it goes like this. Um, basically, throughout my school life, I've been like, uh, you know, bullied a lot. Let me buy Kachan. What did Bakugo do? <sighs> Lots of things. And I completely understand that. Oh, really? Yeah. I have never been this happy. What makes you say that, Lopez? The solo romance. Oh! With you and Sue, huh? Exactly. It was worth it. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah, and... Mineta was chained to the wall. Not chained up to the wall, but... Plenty of room for him to be the DJ and just chill out in his, in his chair. Uh, understandable. Ain't that right, great boy? That's right! <laughs> so Tokuyami, Dark Shadow, how have y'all two been? We are doing quite well, Lopez. Yep, all good here! <laughs> well, uh, for that solo romance with Suyu, she was crying. I kid you not. Crying in happiness, that's for sure. <laughs> Aww. Last night, while while y'all guys were asleep, me and Mineta went out for a stroll. A stroll? Yeah, we came up across a scarecrow. A living sc scarecrow. A living scarecrow? Yes, this is all true. It's too stupid to make up. He goes by the name of Zardi. Huh. Yeah, I mean, Keith did see him before we did. Oh, yeah. And then there was Saitama, but... Hate to upset you guys, but it sounded like he was offending me. Yeah. And how do I see it? I tried to act like I was not being offended, but from what I hear out of his mouth, it sounded like he was offending me, like he doesn't know who I am. Maybe he just didn't understand. But I don't know if he's going through my past now, now that he's probably reading the paper right about now. Might as well be. Feel so bad for Satana and for myself too. Hey, don't feel bad, buddy. <sighs> I guess you're right. <laughs> hey, hey, Bakugo. I think I just figured out your weakness. What is it? Okay, Deku. I'm gonna show him a picture of a lemon grenade, meaning lemonade. <laughs> oh, okay. Take a look at this. I call this a homemade lemonade. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Nope. Mm -mm. Not laughing. Mm -mm. Homemade lemonade. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I got him, Deku! <laughs> God damn it. My, my only weakness. <laughs> Don't you find that ironic and hilarious? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, laughter is the best medicine, Kanchan. Yeah, I see why now. So, Yuga, how's everything with you going? Very well, Lopez. <laughs> you got that right. I mean... I don't know if you're familiar with Senpai that I found, rescuing him trapped inside of a video game. Oh, I have heard about that. Well, yeah, I did remember you were quite upset because he stole your sparkling personality. I'm sure it was all a misunderstanding. Um, yeah. So, turns out, I have you two, because you, Yuga, have fashion, and Senpai has passion. Ooh. Passion and fashion. Why didn't I think of that before? Quite fair. I... I barely thought about that either. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Taku, have you been watching Gabriel Iglesias? Absolutely. Every specials and every regular shows? Yep. <laughs> I learned a lot from comedians, especially Jeff Dunham. Oh, yeah. Even Bakugo's favorite, I, I bet it might be his favorite, is Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. How did you know? 
because he you're you two are familiar with explosions. <laughs> Pun intended, Deku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is why y'all have me, guys, because I bring the entertainment to y'all. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Wait, I said it wrong. Am I right, fellas? Yeah! There you, there we go. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Why am I getting sleepy all of a sudden? Hmm? Uh, Lopez, are you alright? <sighs> I already got my sleep last night. Why does it feel like I have to sleep again? Wait a minute. <sighs> Wait. It's feeling a bit chilly in here. Hey, uh, Ida? What does it say in the thermostat? It says, it says 57 degrees. What's going 57? on? 57? What's going on? Lopez, I think you're going through hibernation just like Sue did that one time. What? What are you talking about? Like basically, like when frogs get cold, they basically just crouch down and then just like close their eyes and just fall asleep. That's what you're experiencing. Oh man, is that is that why I'm acting all sleepy? Yeah. Oh boy. I followed you on many adventures, Deku. Going where no academia has gone before. I go first, amigo. Waiter. Check, please. Uh. Oh. He's all folded up like an actual frog. That's the exact same pose that suited. Should I just leave him here or should I just stay? Lopez? Lopez? Lopez, wake up! Uh, oh, man, oh, little man, what do we do? How about we give him something warm? That's a good idea, Todoroki. Well, what? I can make him some ramen. That's a good idea, that's his favorite food! Yeah, I'll whip some up. Good idea, Sato. <sighs> Don't worry, Lopez. I'll wake you up sooner. Alright, I'm all finished. Here you go, Midoriya. Thanks, Sato. Ah, come on, Lopez. Come on, wake up, buddy. Ugh. Ugh. Is that... Is that ramen I smell? Yeah, that's right, buddy. Your favorite. Oh, my fa- how did I end up in this position? You got so cold that you ended up like that. And without me noticing, my body forcefully did this by itself? I guess. I mean, it happened to Sue. You mean I'm not the only one? You're not the only one. Well, it looks like me and Sue you have a lot more in common. Yeah, you definitely do. <sighs> Thank you, whoever made me this ramen. That would be me. Thank you. Not a problem. So, Deku, since you're talking about this hibernation, I got shocking news to tell you. Okay. From where I'm from, we never have cold weather. You never have cold weather in Texas? No, we just live in a ranch. <sighs> Wide open fields. I ain't kidding. I've never experienced hibernation. Wow. Well, I mean, it's Japan, so... 
first time, I guess. Yeah. Well, this room is really good. Anyways, um, what was? I don't know if y'all heard that explosion last night. That explosion? Or not from last night, but from that one night when y'all were asleep. It was pretty early in the morning, so yeah, I pretty much woke some of us up. Well, to let you know, that was Witty that self-destructed. That was Witty? Yes, but he's okay. What happened? <sighs> okay, do you really want to know what happened? Because you might find this really, really shocking. Um, okay, I'll take your word for it. I kid you not, you guys will lose it once you hear this news. As soon as I got into that alley where he self-destructed, his right arm was missing. Or his left, I mean. His left arm was missing, and I noticed sparks coming out of him. Wait, so you're telling us that he's... A cyborg. Oh no, poor Witty. I know, he didn't tell me this either. He was too afraid Not to tell us Carol. that... Carol found out already. Well, I mean... Yeah. So, I had to save his life. I took him to UA High in the computer room. And I apologize of what I did. I broke one of your computers for the wires. Oh, it's alright. We have hundreds we have millions of those. Well, if it's if it's one of y'all's, then I really sorry. I had to save us. Oh no, that was the staff that was the staff room, so don't need to worry. And the teacher said it was alright. Okay. But there's this thing that Carol said. Cyborg or not, I still love you. <sighs> Even Minetta was there. Yeah, I was. I, I saved his life. He he got his strength back, or I got his strength back. And you wouldn't believe what happened at your school, Deku. You saved the cyborg's life. Not only that, but he proposed to Carol at your school. Wait, are you serious? Yes! It's too stupid to make up! I'm telling you the truth! Ribbit! It was an actual diamond ring! <sighs> For the love of ghetto. Yes! Yeah! And I also asked him this. Would you rather be a living being instead of a cyborg? <sighs> That's all he ever wanted. And I told him. If you want to be a real living being, you have to speak with Goku. He'll know what to do. Yeah. Some of you may know where I'm going with this. A wish from the Dragon Balls. There you go. <laughs> Whenever I get back to Witty again, whenever I have Goku with me, then Witty will make his wish. Alright? Right! Deku, what do you think of that? A proposal at your school? I've never actually seen that happen before. That's actually very heartwarming. You should see it on the security cameras. That's a good idea. Speaking of, I wonder if Principal Nezu saw it. I'm sure he has. I wonder where he is now. It's been a while since I've seen him. Probably busy with paperwork. Oh, paperwork. Staying busy, as always. As all the other teachers. So, I've, I've realized something. Most of y'all, or some of y'all, have animal-related quirks. And I do believe that will be... Uh, Shoji only? Yeah, that's right. Oh. You're the one with the octopus-related quirk, right? Yeah. Shoji, how would you like to be a new member of the Tropical Wilderness? I will happily accept. I mean, we could use more hands, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know about the pros. Having a pro in my group... Is having a pro in my group a good idea? I mean, surely we'll be busy with other hero duties from time to time, but... 
Sure. I'm sure they won't mind. So, I'm more worried about Mirko now. Yeah, I know her attitude is kind of like around 75%. Not not mean, but he's... It's kind of like the undying shenanigans, if you know where, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I get it. She definitely does have the undying attitude. Well... Like I said, I don't want to cheat on my girl again. I'm still with Suyu, okay? I mean, Mirko's basically in her late 20s, so, yeah. Late 20s, so I'm good? Yeah, yeah. Alright, Ribbit. Man, my first hibernation? It was just seconds only. But use that hibernation only when it's needed, alright? Okay. Ah, noted. So, Deku, I hear your birthday's coming up. Yeah, that's right. You know, Deku, I think I got big plans for you. Oh? How so? I won't tell you, but we could use oh, a- Oh, right. Surprise. I will, however, tell you. It's just a sightseeing. Somewhere where you've not gone. Huh. You know something, guys? Having you all on my journey, that never stopped me. Because I kept going because of Sue. Seeing her every day is what kept me going even more. That is true. Because that love at first sight is what changes the road of life. Yeah, that's right. You know, Deku. There's something that concerns me. What's that? In my dream, when I was asleep, I saw purple glowing smoke on my foot, a low bed fog. Wait, what in the... Huh? Let me finish. So I saw a silhouette of someone. I walked to that silhouette. Slowly. That figure, it was about to turn its head around, facing me. And at the last second before I woke up, all I saw were, were its red glowing eyes. That's all I saw. That better not be who I think it is. I couldn't make out who it was. At the last second, he turned his head around with his red glowing eyes. That's it. Uh, Is there something wrong, Deku? I think I might know who that would be. <sighs> Deku, are you okay? I'm fine. Just... Flashbacks. <sighs> well, he's dead uh, already. Get him, get him out of my head. Well, he's dead already. I mean, yeah. I don't know if he works alone or he works with the villains. That's the one thing that concerns me more as well. If he works with the villains, we'd be all screwed. Let's hope that never happens. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm still trying to figure out how I got this biohazard toxic mode. Or maybe this could be my second quirk. Because my first quirk is Dark Frog, and then, if my theories are correct, biohazard is my second quirk. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know how I got it. It's been, a, it's been years since mm. I was a baby. My father also works at a chemical factory. Oh, oh okay. I mean, the chemical factory, or, wait, was it chemical? No, power plant, there it is. There we go. It's just miles from where the ranch is. Oh, okay. You know, Deku, me being the leader of the tropical wilderness is really paying off. It definitely is. But then again, I did remember that one time where we first met. Yep, I remember that too. <laughs> especially, especially the 400 subscriber special. Yeah, that was great. So Deku, 
I don't know if you have the same old quirk, but if there is anything else I need to know, just let me know, okay? Not now, but when you have to. Okay. Alright. What should I what should I do? Hey Deku, how about we do a little one on one training in the gym? Oh yeah! Huh, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> alright, let me get suited up, Ribbit. Yeah, me too. Uh, don't worry about it, guys. We'll be alright. Just be careful. We will. Alright. You take it easy, guys. Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra! <laughs> alright. Come on, Deku. Right! Alright, you're all suited up? You bet I am. Well, it should be an empty gym, and it's just gonna be the two of us there, so... Race it to it, I'll Ribbit! I'll Mr. Aizawa, so... Oh! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Nothing like chilling out in the parking spot, hey, Michael? You said it, Bojangles. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Is that Mr. Dearest? Mr. Dearest! Uh, what happened to you? Uh, it's a long story. Just get me in the car. You got it, boss. Huh? What? <sighs> Honey, what happened? Your face is burnt. Honey, Doro happened. <sighs> that frog boy again? Yeah. Goodness gracious, your face is burnt, and down there is kind of. Yeah. <sighs> How he burnt my face was a new form called Toxic Mode, right for what he said. Toxic Mode? His huh. body went half green. I am not kidding you. Half green? It what? It felt like acid was touching my face. It really stung. I, I can tell. Yeah, and he Johnny caged my nutsack off. Ooh. He punched it so hard that they exploded. Ow. <sighs> but that yeah. hurts. I want to get back Don't to that worry. punk. Don't worry. We will. I'll make sure of it. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Actually. And where was he from again? Actually, UA High School. Yeah, UA. Also, I heard that there is a green-haired boy there called... What was his name? Izuku Midori? Yes, that's him. Yeah. Why don't we go pay him a little visit? <laughs> now you're speaking my language. This is why I love you. <laughs> yeah, I thought of like paying them a little visit after what they did to our daughter. Corrupted her mind. I know. But poor baby. No one messes with the dearest family. Nobody does unless they want to go into their graves. <laughs> 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 Just you wait, Doro. You're going to take a fall. Bojangles, drive. You got it, boss. You wait, here we come. Get ready, heroes. Mm -hmm. 